truly I felt angry. Because I'm a father myself. I'm a father to two young, beautiful children. Yung son ko is 13 years old, and my daughter is 8. Kung nangyari sa anak ko yan, masuguro masusuntok ko yung bata na yan. But, I don't really blame the, the kid for that, for that kind of behavior. I blame the parents for that, for raising a kid like that. You know your kid's behavior, and it's up to you as your parent to control your kids, to teach your kid respect. And, um, Alam mo naman yan kung if your kid is exhibiting that kind of behavior, that it's up to you to, to correct your, your kid. So I was angry about that video because, again, like what I said, I'm, I'm a father. You know, that, that, that really bothered me a lot to the point where I couldn't even sleep last night. And uh, up, in, up, up until now, I'm, I'm, I'm still angry about it. So this is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> and I want you to listen to this. So, to the father of uh, Joaquin Montes, so Mr. Montes, if you're watching this video, and I hope you do, I really hope you do, and this is my offer to you. Obviously, hindi mo tinuturuan properly ang mga kids mo. So, this is what I'm going to do to you. I am challenging you to a fight. Tayong dalawa. If you want, sa harap ng kids mo, I don't care. Alright? You name the time and the place, I'll be there. I'll even make a sweeter deal for you. If you beat me, I'm gonna give you 100,000 pesos. Alright? But if I beat you, you're gonna apologize to the, yung sa bata, yung binugbog ng anak mo, sa family niya. And you're gonna apologize in front of me. I'll be there. Because I said, this kind of behavior has to stop. All right? So that's my offer to you. By the way, my name is uh, JP Otazu. Bakasyon lang ako dito, I'm from Canada. Two weeks lang ako dito, then I'm going back home with my kids. So, please, contact me. Atong number ko. Ayan o. Globe and Smart. Okay? Got it? I have to speak out about this because I just can't believe what I what I what I what I saw. I can't believe this sort of thing still happens in today's time. I mean, what I saw was very disturbing. It was the same type of bullying I've seen back in my high school days. Well, fortunately, I wasn't one of the victims, but I've seen a lot of victims. We, uh, that were bullied like that. The worst part is I couldn't do a thing. All right, I didn't know what to do, and which is why it's very disturbing for me seeing those images from this kid bullying another kid that wasn't wasn't even trying to fight back. Now, usually, I don't wish anything bad against people. Unless they deserve it. And that little shit right over there, he deserves whatever is coming to him. Alright, I hope he gets punished. Well, fairly or even worse, I don't know. But I think Ateneo has to do something right away. They have to at least expel that guy. Now, these victims need justice. You know what bugs me? This guy has made multiple videos of bullying, and yet the school hasn't done anything to it. And Ateneo, ano bang ginagawa niyo? This proves my point that sometimes the school is the problem. They don't do anything to the stupid bullies. Bibigay kayo na statement. To give us a statement na sinabi niyo na ng inexpel niyo na siya. Alright, to the Taekwondo team ng Ateneo, iban yun na siya, Taekwondo Association, iban yun. Why would you let someone practice a martial art that embodies discipline to do something like this? Screw that guy, ban him, revoke his belt, whatever uh, credibility he has in the martial art. And for the school, expel him, don't let him to any other schools. No, screw that, don't, I don't, I don't believe in, 
in second chances sa mga taong ganyan. A second chance is is given to people who deserve it. This guy, screw that guy. The damage has been done to the victim. The victims, they'll probably, you know, remember that day that they were bullied. They were punched in the face and asked to freaking kneel down in front of people. They're gonna remember that as they grow up. And it's gonna do a... It's, it's gonna have a very big impact at, to their work ethics, to whatever they're doing. I don't know, go. There might be a lot of factors why this bully is bullying. Could be his freaking brother. Yes, he has a freaking brother, guys. And his brother is also um, rumored to be a freaking bully in Ateneo itself. So Ateneo, if you would be so kind and do your job, make a background check to his older brother as well. To all we know, the older brother might be the 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 reason why he's also bullying other people. He might uh, the older brother might be bullying the younger brother. Who knows? Maybe he's also abused at home by his parents. Sa parents ni ano? I, I can't even say his name because he's a minor. Ah, screw this freaking loss. To the parents, kilala niyo na yun, okay? To the parents, do something about your children, okay? If you're disciplining them, I'm pretty sure you're disciplining them in a wrong way. Or baka kulang sa discipline. You know what I mean, guys? Jesus. Man, discipline starts at home, guys. Whatever values a person uh, brings out to the society, that that's pretty much their values at home, guys. Ganong kalala. That's how, that's, that's how complicated bullying is. Oh, God. This is, which is why, ah, shit. You know, to the guy videotaping as well, you're just as guilty, you know, for letting that happen. If anything, we you gave us evidence, though. But still, you're part of the problem here, guys. All right. Now, uh, some people might be uh, pissed off with the bystanders who didn't do anything. Guys, it's very hard to to do anything, actually, especially at that age. You know, it it's it's easy to say but hard to do. Okay, balik tayo sa issue natin kanina. Yun nga, sabi ko nga, no, sobrang disturbing. Hindi pang bata yung nangyayari. Nandun sa issue yung ano, sumikat siya ngayon. Instant meme siya dahil sa sinabi niya na ano, dignidad o bugbog. Ayun, talagang, ay shit, sanay tong batang to. Hindi to normal. Pinapapili niya kung bubugbugin niya daw ba yung umiihi. Hindi ko alam kung pwede natin ipakita for the sake of respecting them na rin, no, their privacy. Iha, hindi natin ipapakita yung kanilang mga muka. Binububog niya yung umiihi. Dumugo yung ilong ng umiihi na yun, ha? Isa yun. Sinabi niya pa na kung hindi bugbog, eh, halikan yung paa niya. Parang master talaga. Parang warlord talaga. Diyos Diyosan, if you ask me. At pagkatapos daw halikan yung kanyang paa, hahalikan naman yung bayag. Yung iba hindi ko mapanood kasi kumukulo talaga yung dugo ko. <laughs> Sa totoo lang, init na init yung ulo ko. Yung isa pa pinaluhod niya, tapos sabi mo, bobo ka. Pag hindi mo sinabing bobo ka, bubugbugin kita. Hindi ko rin may papakita kasi it's too graphic. Lalo na para sa mga bata na nanonood dyan. At ang masasabi ko lang sa'yo, no, na... <laughs> Kung naghahamon ka talaga ng suntukan, pumunta ka sa amin dito sa Kaloocan. Isitahin ni mga squatters sa Kaloocan, Malabon, Nabotas, Valenzuela, Tondo. <laughs> Ewan ko kung makalabas ka ng buhay dito sa amin. Hindi pwede sa amin yung ganyan. Maniwala ka sa amin. Nagtutulo. <laughs> Bubugbugin ka ng taong bayan. Maniwala ka. At ayun nga, no? Dahil nga nasabi ko ng... So, itong malit na nung bubuli na to, guys, ay marunong siya mag-taekwondo. So, nakakalungkot isipin na yung talent na binigay sa kanya ay ginagamit niya sa pambubuli. So, itong maliit na estudyante na to ay ilang beses na daw nagagaydan. So, bakit hindi man lang mapigilan yung ganitong pambubuli kung ilang beses na nagagaydan? Kung paulit-ulit nagagaydan, bakit hindi man lang nila na-monitor at patuloy pa rin nangyayari? So, so, yun yung malaking question sa Ateneo ngayon. Kasi hindi man lang pumantong na kung makik out yung bata dahil sa mga ginagawa niya. So guys, isipin natin yung word na empathy. So yung empathy na word na yun ay hubarin mo yung sapatos mo at suotin mo yung sapatos ng nasa harapan mo. So dapat alamin natin yung nararamdaman ng mga taong nasa paligid natin. Hindi yung sarili lang natin iniisip natin. So kung yung batang yun, iniisip niya na 
kung siya yung batang binubuli na yun, syempre, mararamdaman niya na masama yung ginagawa niya. So, so ayoko talaga guys yung mga pangpubuli na ganyan dahil nasisira yung buhay nung nampubuli, lalo na yung mga binubuli. So, so guys, kung may parents na nanonood ng video na to, gabayan niyo yung anak niyo, tanongin niyo yung mga nangyayari sa buhay niya. Dapat maging kaibigan kayo ng anak niyo. So kung ikaw naman guys, yung mga binubuli, huwag kang matakot magsumbong. Dahil hindi ka duwagan yung pagsusumbong. Dahil alam mo na mali yung ginagawa ng kaklase mo. So, kung baga, isipin mo na lang na tinutulungan mo yung kaklase mong nang bubuli na maging matino sa pamamagitan ng pagsusumbong mo sa mga nakatataas ng school nyo. At isipin nyo guys, kung napigilan agad yung mga pagbubuling ganito, parang naligtas nyo na rin yung mga mabubuli niya sa future. So kung ikaw naman, yun ang bubuli, tigil mo na yan dahil alam mo na mali yung ginagawa mo. Nag-aaral ka nga pero yung knowledge mo, hindi mo ginagamit sa paligid mo. Kung baga, parang sayang lang yung pinag-aralan mo, estudyante ka pa naman, tapos hindi mo alam kung ano yung tama at mali. So, yung sa estudyante malit na nang bubuli na yun, hindi natin masasabi kung ano nga ba yung dahilan kung bakit siya nang bubuli. Malay mo, may pinagdadaanan siya tungkol sa mga bagay na ganun, kaya nagagawa niya yung bagay na yun. So, sana sa mga nakapanood ng video na to, maging leso na to sa ating lahat no na itigil na dapat yung pambubuli. Ngayon, kung ako naman yung magulang, magulang nung nambuli. Okay, at ganyan nga, nabulgar na sa internet yung ginawa niya. Kakausapin ko yan ako. Ha? Ang sasabihin ko sa kanya ay magpakalalaki ka. Harapin mo yan. Ha? Yan ang isang magulang. Magpakalalaki ka magsorry ka sa mga taong nasaktan mo. Magsorry ka sa eskwelahan mo. At uh, you take the um, necessary consequence. Yan, haharapin mo yan. Kung sipahin ka na eskwelahan, harapin mo yan. Magpakalalaki ka. Hindi ito yung panahon na uh, iiyak ka o ano. Ginawa mo yan, harapin mo yan. Bilang lalaki. Yan. Kasi ginawa mo yan eh. Yan, yun ang isang magulang. Ha? Papakita mo sa publiko na hindi mo tinotolerate itong ginawa ng iyong anak. At sa iyong mga anak, ipinapakita mo sa kanya kung paano magpakalalaki sa isang bagay na nagawa niyang mali. Yan ang maipapayo ko sa, sa magulang. Take the consequence, be accountable, at learn. Matuto ka, anak, sa nagawa mong pagkakamali. Hindi hindi naman natin ano uh, ano yan eh kailangan eh, i-carry forever. Pero gano'n na nga ang mangyayari nasa internet na eh. Pero learn a lesson. Ha? Ang i-carry mo sa iyo ay ang leksyon na natutunan mo sa iyong ginawa. So sa iyo Joaquin Montes um, malayo pa ang buhay. Pero ngayon pa lang magpakalalaki ka, magpakatatag ka, at matuto ka sa iyong uh, nagawa, magsisi, humingi ng tawad. Ang pagpapakumbaba ay isang senyales ng isang tunay na lalaki. Magandang tanghali sa inyong lahat.